Well then, uh, I'll be honest, I was only planning on playing Caravan Trade Tycoon for you know, one weekend, because, you know, seems like a little known game on Steam with relatively poor production values, but hey, honestly, it's done a lot better on YouTube than I had ever anticipated, and so we're back for at least another weekend worth of Caravan Trade Tycoon. Now, in the last episode, we, uh, what did we do? We, we bought a store, I think, over here. Yeah, yeah we bought a shop in uh, PAL. Uh, and now I guess we'll, we need to figure out how to justify that. Uh, um, we, we have no inventory right now. Uh, well, let's see, what's expensive in PAL? I believe it's relatively expensive for luxuries. Possibly armors, but uh, of course we would need to source our luxuries from somewhere if we uh, wanted to take advantage. So if we like look over here and what? didn't there used to? I swear there was a UI thing that used to exist that was like, hey, Well, okay, let's just go and check on our farm over in... Where did we even have this thing? Uh, it was in Senyak, yeah? Let's go. Maybe that'll fix the game. Hooray, farm. Let's manage it. Give me my stuff. Uh, let's plant some other foods. How about some wheat? There we go. Uh, how's the store going here? Fine, I guess. Uh, anything interesting worth buying here? Also, is our UI working again? It is. Okay, good. Also, apparently it's summer. So I'm told. Um, <clears throat> luxuries apparently are really cheap here. Except that they don't actually have any. Uh, so that that's a minor issue. We need to find luxuries. Like, if we could sell a bunch of luxuries in Pal, that's probably a decent idea. But we need to source them from somewhere. So like, for example, nope, you don't actually sell luxuries. Um, a lot of places don't sell luxuries, as it turns out. Most places, as it actually, believe it or not. Hmm. I'm just looking right now, see, who does sell luxuries? Maybe this place. It looks like it could have luxuries, like a mine or something. Nope. Okay. Can I, like, search? Filter. I want to find... Jewelry. I guess that's a place where I could buy like a jeweler okay the, okay the filter actually seems like a decent idea so we could potentially look into buying a jewelry here in shifford and that then we could like have a set up whole thing where we sell the luxuries in pal that wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea and how uh and shifford is a reasonably large settlement and ideally, you'd be looking for something a bit smaller, maybe, but, you know, just because it'll be less expensive. For now, I'd just kind of be satisfied, like, looking and finding... Uh... Just finding places that have jewelry to sell. Oh, some luxuries. There we go. Adar. We're going to Adar. And just out of curiosity, what's, like, expensive here? Uh, green means cheaper than the place we're currently at, right? So, so, so what could we, uh, here in... Oh, wait, we should, uh... Okay, here. So, raw foods are selling for 1.01. What are they selling for in PAL? Less. Okay. Well, that's Shifford. Or, no. Adder, right, that's where we're going. Udder is selling raw foods for 0 0.86, so I think actually we should probably just sell our stuff 
in uh, our wheats in the shop. There we go. Yeah, let's let's make a decent profit off it. Let's sell for a, a dollar twenty cents, right? It's not the best rate, but hey, it's fine. Uh, then in terms of stores, I mean, we could, I mean, we could honestly just like buy some raw food here and then just sell it slightly over market value. Just over time. It doesn't seem like the worst play in the world. Uh, to make that work, though, we will want to pick up that apple. Oh, right. I forgot these uh, all uh, are separate things with their own, like, they're not just raw foods. We can place the olives and we can sell that for like 125. We can take up this cooked food because I know we can sell that for better elsewhere. Sell some eggs for 123. There we go. Yeah. 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 Okay. Where can we sell cooked food for a lot? Can we sell it in PAL? No, not at all. Not even slightly. Burrito? Burrito? Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. We can, we can get some cooked foods there. Buy some raw foods, potentially. Sell them. Who knows? Have some fun. So we'll just... We'll have a stop by Burrito. How about that? Because I, I think the next logical step here is we want to... We're selling cooked foods here, right? Yeah. There we go. I think our next logical step is we want to hopefully get to the point because we're doing the whole like trading thing eventually we want to kind of be a producer slash retailer not just this kind of traveling merchant thing i guess i don't know i don't know what i'm doing here we're, we're buying luxuries like salt the greatest of all luxuries i guess we could buy some raw foods and just like sell it back at our other place uh, it's an idea. What do you have? Do you have anything worth... You've got a few luxuries to sell here in Hixojavark. Let's go. Okay. Salt. Super valuable. Uh, anything worth selling here? What, what prices do you boast? Yeah, nothing too impressive. Anything else to go? Anywhere else to go? We could buy some luxuries over in not to be Natubia. Uh, yeah. Could potentially sell some cooked food there. What? What's the price for cooked food here? It, it's basically the same. Uh, Natubia. Is there more of a difference with raw food and ingots? Wait, no, that's ch cheaper here, right? Let's just stop by there. We'll buy the luxuries. Then we'll... Which is probably gonna be salt, let's be honest. We're gonna buy some salt. Great. Okay, now back to Paul we go. That's yeah, the autumn, apparently. And uh, it seems our farm is probably... Finished producing. Alright. Well, no. We're going to sell at the store. Right? We're going to place that salt in the store. And we're going to sell it above market value. 150 per salt. These are luxury goods. They sell for a lot. Hopefully. Okay. Um. Now, while we're here, is there anything else we want to sell here specifically? And we got raw food. Honestly, that seems like a decent price for raw food, so let's just go ahead and sell them. Hey, let's sell it at the, at the shop. Why not? Here, carrots. Boom. 131. Milk. Boom. 167. It's valuable. Trust me. And it's not going to go stale. Don't you or spoil. Potatoes. They're incredible. 142. Apples. Just get this out of here. 116. 
All right, uh, let's take a look at Shifford because I am curious about buying the jeweler. Or jewelry or whatever. How much would that cost me? 27,360. Okay, so we got a bit of a ways to go there. Um, I guess we could go harvest from our farm over in uh, Semyak. Which... Hold on, so clothing 105, what's here? I mean, we could make a minor profits with clothing. We could stop by Kidyoa. Maybe sell some materials there? What's our materials going for here? Oh, yes, yes, we're, we're okay, that's the play. And just when we then go to Semyok, we could maybe sell cooked foods. Well, let's see what they're going for here. Same price. Okay, so we'll just buy some materials then. By some, I mean like all the materials. Give me the wool, give me the cotton, give me the sword handles, give me the ingots are not materials as it turns out. Uh, oh, you have luxuries? Why, well, don't mind if I do. Okay, thank you. Uh, some silk, please. Thanks. Alrighty. So, we'll actually stop by uh, Paul first to, to drop off these luxuries. And we'll put them up in the shop. Looks like the apple already sold. Great. Carpets. Ooh, these are, these are high-quality carpets. 150 each. What do you want? A carpet or some salt? They're equally valuable, let me tell you. Alright, now we go to Kidyoa, right? Because you have the good materials prices. Let's just check the material pr prices in PAL first, though. Not as good. So we'll go to Kidyoa. And we'll sell some materials there. So our next big quest is we're going to buy a jeweler. That's what we're going to do. Uh, Kidyoa. Let's see. I'm here to sell materials. Goodbye wool, goodbye cotton, goodbye sword handle, goodbye silk. And now we're emptied. Okay, cool. Anything where- Oh, you have salt here? Mm, that's kind of pricey, actually, for salt. 130? Mm. Oh, wait, hold on. What is your, the, your listed price? Kidyoa. I would like to know the listed price for... Oh, 0 0.43. Never mind, we're buying it. We, we are buying your salt. Give it to me. Thanks. Uh, is there a market for armor potentially to sell? Maybe at Semyok? No, not not even slightly. Uh, could we sell for profits back in Pal? Armor is 190. What what's being sold for here in Kidyoa? 0 0.9. Okay, yeah, we yeah we're gonna buy some armor while we're here. That is for certainty. And maybe we could even buy weapons. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the prices. Weapons. 1.44 compared to here in Kidyoa. They are 0 0.73. Okay, yeah, we're buying the weapons too. We're, we're just buying all the things. We're not purchasing this store. Uh, we are buying... We're, we're not going to the barracks. I don't even know what these guys do. Um, yeah, buy some arrows. Sure. Sounds good to me. Alrighty. Now let's go back. Head to Samyak. I don't think... Was there anything we were meaning to sell here? Not luxuries, not armor, not weapons. Okay. All we're doing here is we're just taking a look at the, the old farm. Thanks for the wheat. Uh, what if we like got tomatoes? How about it? Um, let's see. How's the shop doing? Still selling stuff? That's, that's good, I guess. Okay, back to Pal. Shouldn't we be like... Okay. Pal, hello. Let's go to the shop. Good news, we have more... Salt, right? Salt. Uh, well, yeah, there. This salt is the exact same as the other salt, so it's selling for the same price. How about that? Uh, we can get a copper helmet going. We'll sell those for slightly above market value. Uh, arrows, sure. 
I don't know why the... Oh, right. Armor and weapons are different. There. And... Why do I have wheat? Okay, we, we'll, we'll sell that elsewhere, maybe. Okay. Get out of here. Uh, let's see. Any new jewel luxuries to buy? Oh my goodness, so many luxuries in Shifford. And, and the surrounding areas, maybe? Okay, yeah, we can go to Mashambe, Shilford, Shifford. Uh, okay. Anywhere else along the coast, maybe, that we could go to? No? No, just those two places? That's it? We could pick up some armors in uh, Windami. Sure. Uh, I guess we should take a look at what we might want to sell here. Uh, clothing, potentially. 1.151? 1. What, what is clothes selling for in PAL? Clothing. 116? It's not the biggest margin. Let's actually take a look and make sure that... So they can buy 1,462 worth of materials. It's not the biggest margin, but we can certainly make something happen here with this. Clothing. Blankets apparently qualify as clothing. Good to know. We, if we buy a thousand bucks worth of blankets, we can sell that hopefully for a pretty penny in Winnemy. Alrighty. Blankets, here you go. All you could ever hope and dream of. I guess we could have brought more because then we were always planning on buying some. Oh, wait, were we... Oh, we were going to buy armor from this place, right? Armor. Cool. And honestly, this isn't a terrible place to sell the wheat, so there you go. And now we just kind of go up the coast here, except not this part. And we're going to buy some luxuries from... Malkishamb. Let's go. I would like to purchase from you some luxury goods. Salt! I love it. Thanks. Honestly, that's a. I guess we could just buy this stuff and go like right next door and sell it all. I got, that seems reasonable. Like just back to the place we just came from. And I could. Does this place have good rates for food? Raw food? Nope, it's terrible. Uh, what about Shifford, which we're going to? It's not bad. We, we can sell the food in Shifford and make a bit of extra money. Okay. Uh, first, we'll, we'll sell the foods. I've leveled up. Thanks. And we're buying silks. Silk carpets. Is that it? Okay, golden necklaces. Thanks. Uh, let's check the price on this armor, because we could potentially sell us that back in PAL. Armor is 135. I mean, it would be a profit. 117. I feel like we can maybe do better, though. Doesn't seem like it, though. Alright, let's just go back to PAL. Well, let's check. What does this place do? Materials for 1.09. Cooked food for 1.06. What do we have going here with cooked food? Okay, we'll sell materials there. Okay, materials. We'll buy some wool. We'll buy some... Is that it? Oh, wood. Okay, thanks. Wool and wood. Great. Alright, now we'll offload that as we go to... The Mario. Let us sell our wool and wood. Just brought that across the little sea there for you. And to Paul we go. Hello, sh that's not the store. This is the store. Okay, uh. Okay, can we just like sell all of our salt as one unit, please? Seems unnecessary otherwise. Uh, let's get the golden necklace over here. Let's get carpets. There. Okay, we've got two units of carpet. Hold on. There. Now, now we have one unit of carpet. And we'll sell the helmets. And all of these things we should overprice at least slightly. Like one, 160. Sell the necklaces for like 140. 
So the helmet's for like 146. Salt for 139. Yes, I know we have two units of helmets. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't talk to you about the helmets. How's the inventory looking? Great. Hold on. I, I want to look at the store again. Hold on. Something feels off, but I'm not sure what. Uh, in any case, I guess that store will kind of do its thing. We should probably go check on uh, Semyok. I think we haven't actually made much money as of late. Granted, a lot of our, you know, net worth is in, uh, is tied up in inventory in our stores. How's the farm doing? Thanks for the tomatoes. Uh, I don't know. What, what do I want to go for next? We go for spices. I don't think it's good, but we could do it. Let's get some rice. We can't get rice. Let's get some wood. Yeah, wood. Tavern, anything cool going on? Let's learn out the gossips. I have heard a rumor about where you can sell tools for the most expensive. No, we're not in the tool business. What? Okay, so what are we going to do next? And where's, where, where do we put that one farm? Samyak, great, great, okay. Oh, time, hello. Uh, let's look at, I want to see where we have workshops. Seddenford. Seddenford, where is Seddenford? There it is, we have a farm there, allegedly. Apparently the city is wealthy. I doubt it. I, d I don't see it. Okay. Let's just look at Semyak, though. It's understocked. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. What would we have to do to upgrade this farm? The development of the city is not enough. Like, I get that. How do we get the development of the city up, though? Is that a thing we have power over? I can recruit soldiers, but I'm not sure to, to what end. Also, we should probably level up. Uh, caravan. I can upgrade my storage. That could be useful. Or we can get perks. Sell ores for more, sell ingots for more. Yeah. Whatever. Here, let's actually take a look at the codex. Okay, so that's just like a bunch of items. See, what I don't get though... Why are there even this many different types of each type of thing if... Aren't they all functionally identical? Like, is it, isn't every luxury functionally identical to every other luxury? Or, or am I missing something? Oh, wait a minute, I get it now. This is not a price. It's the percentage. Oh my gosh. So, uh... So, okay, that's why it's all like at the same price. It's not that each ore is worth 1.7. It's that each... Ore here is selling for 170% of the normal value of an ore. Oh, that makes a lot more sense now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, I get it now. I get it, probably. Maybe I'm the idiot for only just now realizing this, but... That's where I'm at right now, so... Don't make fun of me. Let's just continue on this journey together. I guess. Honestly, that seems like a pretty lucrative trade. Lungala, buy some raw foods. Yeah. 
That's where our food's here. Okay. Let's go over here. It'll take a bit. Let's buy some raw foods. We have tomatoes, which are raw foods. Bye. 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 What are the materials going for over in uh, Pal? Okay, n not enough. To Pal, we go. How's the store looking? Let's place, uh, let's just place some chicken here. I'll sell this for one and a half times the normal value, and we'll put, not some milk, we already have milk. Uh, yeah, what if we put our tomatoes down? So those for like 1.5, yeah. Then we can just sell the rest directly in the markets. Eggs, beans. Milk. Great. Uh, and then from here, maybe we could find something that we want to sell back in uh, Wangala. Maybe some tools? Some clothing, perhaps? What's clothing going for in Pal? Okay, we could do tools. Yeah, yeah, tools. Tools. Okay. Where are the tools at? Some knives. Thanks. Any other knives or other like products to sell? Ah, more knives. Thanks. This might be enough knives now that I think about it. So we could go to Langala, sell some knives. Maybe go elsewhere and sell... Okay, actually we're going to uh, Galera and selling the knives as it turns out. They're, they're, they're buying them for more. Uh, okay, here you go. Have some have some knives. There we go. Where are we going to sell the rest of these knives? That's a good question. We could sell them over in Nago. At least some of them. Uh, sell the... Sell the... Sell the knives. There we go. Where else can we sell knives? I'm a knife seller. Okay, not this place. Uh, what else? Not... Nanga! We can make it work. It's not as good a deal as it could be. After a hundred, one thousand five hundred and second tour, there will be a chance for bandits to return. I assume there will be a chance for bandits to attack your cavern. To protect yourself from bandits, you can recruit some soldiers from the cities. Gotcha. So that's when this comes into play. Okay, so we're gonna have to start really begin becoming a more profitable operation quite quickly, so we can actually afford. A retinue of soldiers. Okay. Do you want to buy knives? I bet you would. Buy some knives. Thanks. Okay, what are we going to buy from here, though, to sell elsewhere? So what's, what could we sell in Pal for decent? Armor and raw food seem pretty good. or And ores. Armor, raw food, and ores. What do we got here? Raw foods. Okay. That's it. Really? I mean, we could buy a couple armors, I guess. Uh, let us sell. Or we want to buy raw food. A bit of armor. A bit of raw food. Just give me the raw foods. Thanks. I don't think materials are really high on the list of things to do right now. To Pal we go. We should probably take a look at our uh, farm pretty quick soon. Raw foods, goodbye. Armor, goodbye. Raw food, goodbye. Other raw foods, goodbye. Milk, goodbye. Okay. So if we're going to make the trip all the way... What, what can we sell in Kadoa? Kadoa. Uh, we could sell clothing for a decent price, it would seem. Clothing, maybe materials. What do we got? Clothing, material. Okay, I think clothing is our best bet. Let's buy some clothes here. Uh, clothing. We'll buy some dresses. 
that enough? That's probably enough dresses to try to sell in Kidioa. Alrighty, let's sell the dresses. Okay, that's slightly too many dresses to sell. I've earned a level. Awesome. Um, what do I want to buy here? Raw food wouldn't be a terrible thing to buy. Sure. I think we'd make a profit, probably. Can we sell the rest of the... Okay, we can sell some of the dresses. Okay, and over to Simyak we go. How's the farm looking? Thanks. Let's produce some tomatoes. How's the store looking? Uh, we could sell... What do we want to sell here? I don't know. I, I don't want any of these. Take, take, take me back. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll sell some green peas, okay? Are you happy? There. Green peas. Do they like clothing here? Not not that much, really, uh, as it turns out. Where can we sell clothing for a good amount? Uh, any uh, gossip here in the, the old tavern? Uh, okay, where you can buy materials for the cheapest. Sure. Ognich has the lowest rate. Thanks. Ognich. Where's Ognich? I, I know about Ognich. I've been there before, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where it is, but that's fine. It's okay. Alrighty. I think what we really want to do, let's try developing a real, like, empire surrounding M Pal. I think that makes sense. Because Pal is a very strong, powerful city. And I think if we can, like, funnel with just a bunch of resources around it into it, I think that'll be good for us. We'll sell some raw foods here, though. Maybe even materials? Eh, I think we'll hold on to the materials. Who would like to buy some dresses? Would you like to buy some dresses? Yes, you would. Yes, indeed you would. Okay, and then maybe we'll pick up some luxuries while we're down there. To Burry Briamo. Alrighty, let's sell these dresses. Finally, they're gone. Yeah, we'll sell the materials, too. I'm bored of carrying this wood around. Uh, and then, I guess... What what does Powell want from here? Armor, raw foods, ores? Do we have armor, raw foods, or ores we can get from here? Ores? Nope. Raw foods? Yeah, we could get some raw foods and armor. Okay, great. So, we'll buy raw foods and armor here. Thanks. Thanks. Didn't we just... No, we sold raw foods in uh, Powell. Great. And then we go up. Back to Pal. Actually, you know what? Let's buy some luxuries from some of these other places first. You don't have luxuries because we already bought you out. We're at Shifford. Apparently, you, you don't have luxuries either. Where'd the luxuries go? I thought that coastline was great for luxuries. Apparently not. Alright, we'll just go to Pal then. Uh, well, let's check the store first because we can mark things up better there. Let's grab our these armors back. Let's put some chest plates down. We'll sell those for 1.49. Uh, I guess we could do the copper boots. Yeah. 1.44. Yeah, I love it. It's great. Uh, the rest we can just sell immediately. Here, I have my pears. Have my gloves. Have my helmets. Have the carrots, have the eggplants, have the flour. Good riddance. Well, let's stop by the tavern. How are things going? Let's learn about the gossips. Where you can buy clothing for the cheapest. Do tell. Wugotera. Thanks. Wugotera. I don't think I've ever heard of Wugotera. Oh, there it is. Wugotera. You actually sell clothing? Yeah, you do. You do. 
We could, we could buy some clothing from there. We'll go Terra. Sell back in Pal, perhaps, or elsewhere. What, what could we sell in Wugaterra? Maybe materials? Weapons 1.12, materials 1.10, anything we can buy in Pal for cheap? Uh, I mean, we'd make a nominal profit, I guess, if we bought some materials. Not really much to get excited about, but we'll bring some wool. Why not? Alright, to Wugaterra we go. Alrighty, Wugaterra. Would you like some wool? Hopefully that was something yours. Oh, luxuries. It's not a great deal on luxuries, but we'll buy them. Because that's kind of part of our thing. We'll also buy clothing. And more luxuries. Lovely. I don't think that's actually a good deal on raw foods, unfortunately. So, uh, cooked foods, though, that's actually a pretty good deal, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So, if we look at Paul. Okay, we can't sell the cooked foods in Paul for a profit. Maybe in Bungyeg? Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. What, what did we buy these for? 0 0.77? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, we'll stop by Bungyeg. We'll buy. We'll sell our cooked foods. Maybe even the clothing, too? Because like, Paul's buying for 1.19. Yeah, we'll sell the clothing in Bugyeg 2. Alrighty. Clothing, goodbye. Cooked foods, goodbye. I don't think we're going to sell luxuries here, though. Because, like, luxuries... Yeah, definitely not. But in Paul? Oh boy, can we sell luxuries in Paul. Oh, we could buy some in Longala. Let's head over there. Why, hello, Longala. I'd like to buy your luxuries. Salt. Don't mind if I do. That's it. I guess we could buy some armor while we're here. That generally does pretty well in the Pal marketplace. Okay. Let's check up on the store. I guess we don't really have room to sell anything here. Oh, I can just, like... Never mind. I wish I could uh, affect the quantity. Just without doing anything crazy. Oh, well. Let us sell our luxuries here in Pal. And the armor. And the other luxuries. Okay. What turn are we at? Uh, it's probably still a bit early to be investing in an, an army. So we won't yet. How much does this bakery cost? 25,000. Wow. Um, okay. Now what's anything around here we could buy? Luxuries, nah. Armor, nah. I wish I could sort by like what sort of stuff these places were actually, like, selling. That's a- those are pretty cheap materials and armors over in Bungyeg. Didn't that, didn't we just come from there? We can't really sell anything into there, because they've got, like, no money, but... We can buy stuff, that's for sure. Bungyeg, uh... What, what do you have? Your materials are rather cheap. I'd like to buy them from you. You got this whole, like, thing of armor. I want it. Thanks. Okay, now, perhaps we go to Paul. Is there anywhere we can sell materials for more? We can buy them pretty cheap here, so let's go. Uh, sell, or not sell, buy. Just give me your wool. Thanks. Oh, and your wood. Gracias. So where can we sell these for a good price? Nengo isn't really a good price. Uh, God, who wants materials? Maybe, maybe there's some gossip around here that we can take a look at to potentially aid us. Where you can sell ingots for the most? Eh, not really interested. I don't carry ingots all that often. What about Sa Samyak? Do you... That's a terrible price for materials. 
Kidioa? It's a bit better. But they don't have the money to really buy that much. Yeah, it might just be the best to go to Pal with those materials. Not before we buy some in Shifford, though, that's for sure. Buy some materials, buy some luxuries, buy some... And those are the big ones, honestly. Materials and luxuries, let's go. Anything we can sell there? Well... Some ores, perhaps? Do we have ores we can buy here in... Gehera? No. But that's in Nango, it's on the way. No. Okay, I guess we're just going straight to Shifford. <sighs> Sheesh. Oh, uh, alright, here we go. Let's sell... No, we don't sell materials. What are we doing here in Shifford? We are buying luxuries. Actually, were we selling materials? We might actually be selling materials. Come to think of it. We're definitely buying arm... Yeah. No, well, sure, why not? We'll also buy materials. We're here to buy materials, not sell materials. I remember now. Compared to my inventory is full. Okay, fine. I'll sell this wood here, and I'll buy all this cotton instead. How about that? Alright, back in Paul, everything except cooked food is more expensive here, so we'll just offload it all. Uh, well, let's check the store first, see if we can load anything up to sell automatically. Not yet. We're almost out of salt, though, so that'll open up rather quickly. But we just sell everything. It's easier this way, even if it is perhaps maybe a bit less effective. Alrighty. Granted, that 8,500 doesn't feel very ineffective. Um, what now? Well, I guess now, let's take a look at our caravan stuff. Uh, we can upgrade our storage. Great. Oh, that costs money! Oh, whoops. Is a, how much storage do we have now, though? One, two, three, four. We spent 5,000 gold for two storage spots? That seems a bit much. Sheesh. Okay. Well, 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 well. A mine. I bet that produces ores. Let's let's investigate this mine. What would it take to buy this mine? Seventeen hundred. It's mine. Thanks. Um, let's get some, whatever's cheapest, I guess coal. Let's mine some coal. Thanks. Uh, we don't have much money. Let's head back to Samyak and make sure our farm is doing well. Uh, we're going to probably want to hire some soldiers while we're here to Hello, farm. Uh, get managed. Okay, can I get just like a nice long-term crop? Like, what's gonna take like the longest time to grow? Pears are pretty long. Let's let's get some pears growing here. How's a uh, your old store going? Uh, I guess we could put the tomatoes here. Boom, tomatoes. We're selling for uh, one thirty. Take that. Oh, and then I guess I probably should also, uh... Um, let's get an infantry, a, an archer, and a horseman, and, like, more archers and more infantry. And, like, another horseman. Okay. So how much is that going to cost us? 40 per week. That doesn't sound like it's too bad. Hopefully. Um, okay, or is this... More expensive here. Can we buy anything here in Semyok? Not really. They have like nothing. 
which is quite disheartening. Ah, okay, we can buy ores in Kagoya. So that, that's a pretty good idea, I think, maybe. Kagoya. Let's buy your ores, Kagoya. Oh, luxuries. Don't mind if I do. And also, ores. Thanks. And more luxuries. Amazing. Okay, let's take a look at the prices. Uh, we might just head back to Paul. Yeah, ore prices are pretty good in Paul. As are luxuries, as we, of course, are well aware. Uh, I guess we should check to see if we can put anything in the store. We can! How about some golden necklaces? Wait, aren't we already... Let's just get some golden rings in the store. It'll sell those at, like, 1.45. Yeah, yeah, why not? And everything else... Sell and sell.